Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Cordero Wild, we're on Rancho Del Arroyo, and I'm here to talk about the brand new Next, the Great One. Now, don't worry, I haven't got the inside information. We're spitballing today. Basically, this week, the content creators were chatting. We were chatting amongst ourselves, and uh, we were trying to say, like, what do we want to see next for the new Great One? And my choices were red deer and mule deer. Now, I'm gonna explain why I think a red deer great one or mule deer great one uh, makes the most sense. If you think about a great one, what would you want it to achieve amongst the community when being added? So, popularity really does help because obviously you want the most people to hunt them, enjoy hunting them. So this is what makes white-tailed deer the natural choice as the first one now i'd say mule deer and red deer are about about tied they're right up there as one of the top species people like to hunt so it would make sense to make one of those the next great one also in the favor of those two is they're on numerous different maps so you don't tie people down to one map hunting something they may not like. So you've got a few factors there which will help make them better received amongst the majority of the community. So mule deer and red deer to me make the most sense. The funny thing is <laughs> I'm hunting for the great one and that's not the great one but it's, it's a good one isn't it. It's a potential really nice example of a diamond muley. Now, I'm on the Great One grind, I'm well into it, probably a week in now, we've shot quite a lot and I'm just getting rid of some of my hunting pressure and what a way to do it and this is one of the benefits of what I do on Rancho Del Arroyo when I'm hunting for my Great One. I come and slaughter animals to get rid of my hunting pressure and then start again at 9am. Check out my Great One videos, my Great One grind uh, guides. Check them out and you'll see why I do this and it does really help. Basically, if you look at this location where I'm at, I've been hammering animals, mainly mule deer at the minute. Um, kill loads of them, 20 or 30, wipe out all the hunting pressure on my white tail deer, great one, grind lakes. And as you can see, I've got a couple of little purple patches left, but up that top right there, you get a lot of mule deer. I normally go there or I normally come down to these mountains and hunt here to get rid of it. And I'll just kill every animal I see. Um, often with the M1 as well. It may not be ethical sometimes, but just killing them as fast as possible, whatever's about, gets my hunting pressure off my whitetail deer lakes and I'm back on the grind again in a very short period of time. And that's the key, to get as many whitetail deer as possible in the shortest amount of time. So how's my grind going? Let's break it down. My new Great One grind, um, I was on Leighton Lakes a, a few weeks ago. I put in about a week on there, found all my zones, knew where all the whitetail were, killed two or three hundred maybe, maybe a touch more, and I wasn't enjoying it. I really wasn't. I wanted to get three and three, so I'd got three on Leighton and three on Rancho Del Arroyo, Great Ones, and then I just thought I'm not really enjoying it, I'm not having much fun, uh, it's becoming a bit of a chore so I just jumped back onto Rancho Del Arroyo and this is the difference, Rancho Del Arroyo in a week I can get a thousand whitetail, not too odd you know what I mean, you can kill a lot of whitetail on Rancho Del Arroyo once you get the, the gist of it, get your setup right, it's quite easy so I just come back to Rancho Del Arroyo because it's just more fun and there's other species on here I like to hunt more so I'm back on here for my grind I'm about a thousand in and like I say you get about a third of what I'd get on Rancho on Leighton Lakes so that's how I'm doing with my grind at the minute we've had a few diamonds I've got an albino I still need to kill and it's a level two a fan on one of the big lakes so I might get that in the next video show you him but yeah, it's going well and Rancho Del Arroyo is fun. Today I thought I'd also do a giveaway. 
because I know you like your giveaways. That is a diamond and that is a very high scoring one. I knew it was going to be a high scoring one. I could tell by the rack and that rack is quite a nice one as well. So that's a good example. He's going to go in Spring Creek Manor. So because we're on about the new great ones and I think Mule Deer may be the next great one. That's why I've got a funky looking Mule Deer on the thumbnail. So what better than to give away a map a DLC which has got Mule Deer on, which is Parquet Fernando. So, what we're going to do today is be a bit different. It's not going to be the first comment in the video section, it's just going to be one I pick out. So, I'm going to pick a random right answer out in the video comments. What should we do for the question? What is going to be the next, the great one? I just told you the answer. I'm gonna pick one right answer. It's gotta be in the video comments. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna pick one out over the next couple of days and you will win Parquet Fernando DLC map on PC. Good luck. Drop it in the comments, the right answer. What is the next, the great one? So here we are at Spring Creek Manor. As you can see, it's been progressing really well. We've almost filled up this lobby. Where should we put this new diamond mule deer? It's a really good example. There's an OG original perfect thousand square mule deer. I think we'll stick him here over this fireplace. So I hope you've enjoyed the new The Great One video. I am well into my grind. Hopefully we'll get a new Great One soon. We could do a double huddle if we get a next one. I'll try my best to do that. But today we've been talking about the next the great one i'm ron mctube hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye